Does he eat the troto? Oh. <laughs> Eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah, you got, yes. got, got, yes. got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. He's gonna set it. All right, we got something very exciting. I've been waiting, watching the tracking on it, and I thought it was gonna arrive tomorrow, so I wasn't planning to film this video today, but I wanted to use it as soon as I can because it's new. I don't know, people are always ridiculous about unboxing videos. They use like these hot knives and ridiculous. Sometimes you just gotta use the basics. What do we got here? We got the Aquaview HD user guide. Oh wait, the quad HD. That is the special part. Okay, we got some pods. We'll talk about those later. I'm very happy that showed up. I'm very excited about this because I have so many ideas. This probably isn't the uh, factory box, but here we go. This is new from Aquaview this year. This is the quad HD. And I'm gonna, I mean, you could probably kind of guess by the name, but I'm gonna show you what it's all about. Whew. Look at this. This is the juice right here. Let's check this out. It's a cute little carrying device. Pop it out. Oh, look at that. It looks like a UFO. One, two, three, four cameras every direction, how sweet is that? So this is a 10 inch screen. This is what you'd be getting on the HD, HDI 10. Today on Unboxing with Jay. All right, look at that screen. That's a big 10 inch screen. It's got the HDMI out on the back. It's got the adapter if you wanna hook up a battery. Actually, I wanna see if it's charged right now. That's kind of the most important part if we wanna go fishing. Turned on. Oh, look at this. Oh my goodness. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. People are always wondering, you know, what lure is best? What lure is the fish gonna bite? And with four cameras, you could have four different lines down there. So I don't know if this is gonna be a series. This might be a one-off video, but Brandon behind the camera and myself, we are gonna head to a backcountry brook trout lake and we're gonna give four different presentations. We're allowed two per person. I'm not sure what the four are gonna be yet, but we're gonna have all four recording. I think it'll be very cool to see the fish behavior and to see how it interacts to the different offerings. This pod is gonna be very handy. I'll show you how that works on the water. I've actually been needing one of these the last couple trips. We're gonna go for a quick afternoon speckled trout session. Welcome to Ice Fishing Roulette. Four cameras, four lines. Will we catch fish? We will soon find out. We got a lot of setup to do. We found a pretty sweet spot here, a little rock point. I will talk more about it. Here we go. All right guys, as I mentioned, the name of the game is Ice Fishing Roulette. Brian and I are gonna be fishing today. We can each use two lines, which gives us a total of four lures. And we just so happen to have the new Aquaview quad cam that has four cameras on it. So I thought this would be a pretty cool concept for video. This is the first time we may do it again if this turns out well. Uh, we tried this a couple days ago and uh, had a great failure, but we're back at it again. So we're gonna drill four holes. The beauty of an electric auger is you can drill inside of the shack and you don't uh, smoke yourself out. So yeah, enough talking. All right, we're recording. Brandon's packing the snow around the edge. The Mr. Heater's cooking. This is, this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be kind of a goofy setup just with having all four lines and everything. Uh, you know, not normally how we'd sit in the shack. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. All right, this is offering number one going down. This is the micro dinner bell. That little guy right there, just delicious. Stock trout candy, we're gonna drop it down. That's what I'm gonna be jigging. Brandon's got the micro tungsten with a little dragonfly, pla dragonfly plastic. All right, we're gonna do two jaw jackers over here. Uh, we're gonna do one with a live minnow and one with some trout dough. I will show you guys. Big happy minnow, split shot, and we're setting it on the jaw jackers. All right, for our fourth and final offering, we got an octopus hook, see if that focuses nicely. Octopus hook, and I actually crimped a split shot onto the hook. A little orange floating trout, or like orange or pink. I don't know how much of a difference that makes. I'm gonna squish it around that split shot. Try to leave that hook exposed, try to cover up the split shot. Here you go. All right, that's going on the last, last jaw jacker. Hopefully it's angle from above. is gonna work good for us. There's a fish, there's a fish right by the middle. 
Oh, oh, oh he's pecking at it. Oh, that's that fish is a little too small for the. <laughs> oh, oh, he's coming for the choto. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, he's coming back. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, oh. little guy, but that's a good sign. All right, we are set up four rods. Man, it takes a solid like hour and a half by the time you set all this camera gear up but uh, and fishing gear and uh, just everything. But I think this is pretty cool. Just seeing that fish there between the live minnow and the troto and uh, this will be a, a learning experience for all of us. Welcome to Ice Fishing Roulette with Brandon. Say hello to Brandon. He's new to the channel. He's been helping me out with editing, some shooting. And today, maybe he'll catch some fish. Here, fish, fish. Small guy, he's staring at the minnow. Oh, oh, there's two, two, there's two, there's, there's two, two, there's a nicer one. Oh no. Oh man. Oh my goodness. He's going for the trout though. Oh! That one's got nice colors. He's micro and I don't... Oh, he just burped on it! <laughs> that one was a little bit bigger, I thought. Oh. Oh! Whoa. Look at the other one, there's two! Oh, this Eat is it. so cool. Oh, this is so cool. He's just staring at that minnow. Oh, 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 come on. That minnow is just oh. freaking out for its life. If that trout eats that minnow, he deserves that minnow. That's for sure. He's going for the trout now. Oh, you can see the white on the fence. That is so cool, guys. He likes that minnow. <laughs> He's just pecking at it. Oh my goodness. Oh. oh. Oh, you see it? Oh, no. He's trying to. It's just too big for him. Look at the minnow just kicking up to the top of the frame. This is absolutely incredible. So mine is a little to the left. Oh. Oh, he must have just tripped it. The fish just took oh. off. I wasn't paying attention there. I wasn't either. All right, so we are set up probably in six, seven feet of water, a little rocky point here. There's a lot of wood. There's a moose nest just around the corner here. What I really like about this area um, and what I think is kind of an important thing if you're gonna try to set up this quad cam is kind of a, a flat, flat bottom if you wanna have multiple cameras at once because if you're on a really steep slope, you can't keep all those baits in the strike zone. We wanna be keeping these lures pretty close to the bottom. And if you're on a really steep break, it's tough to keep, you know, the furthest line and the closest to shore line on that same plane. Oh, there's a fish. Ooh. We're gonna zoom in, that's the cool thing with this touch screen. You can zoom in on a specific camera. And unfortunately, if a fish comes in on a different camera, we're not gonna see it. But it's pretty neat. Touch screen, like come on. We're just gonna have hours of footage of this one tiny <laughs> trout circling around. Oh, oh, he's gonna eat the camera. Oh. So cool. Yeah. Oh, I just had one. I just lost one. A tiny one just came and ate my dinner bell. I wasn't paying attention. Look, it's still there. It's still there. He's watching. Oh, there's oh, two there's of them. Two. Yeah. They're micro. I got him. Oh, you got him. We're on. We're... Oh, no. no. Oh, can you imagine double? Oh, 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 oh. He's going to eat the camera. <laughs> they like the trout dough too. This is interesting. Look at that. He's just nudging it. Oh. Oh, he just ate it. Oh, oh, oh he popped it. We lost it on the trout dough. It didn't bother him at all. You can see he's still just circling around down there. Oh. Oh, yeah, we didn't catch it. The minnow's freaking out though. Look, he's coming up for the minnow up high. Oh. Watch that. I got to bend it back down. What is, the split shot for the minnow is all the way over by the trout dough. It might take a while for it to. Oh, there is on the, it's on the other screen. He's following it. That was funny. The, oh, the, minnow, the minnow was on the trout dough screen. He's following oh, it all the way over. That is so good. Oh, 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 got him. There nice. we go. It's small, but we're on the board on the dinner bell. Come on. Hey, hey nice. I think that might be a splake. It is micro. I know, <laughs> but that was so cool. On the dinner bell, micro trout on the micro. Look at that big guy. Let's see if we see him on the camera as we release him. I think Sweet, one for the dinner bell. 
little update for you guys. We've probably been fishing for an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Non-stop fish, but a lot of it's been the same fish, just cruising around as you can see right now. We have uh, a big minnow and it's a very small fish. So that's kind of what we're dealing with. Hopefully this guy gets caught or just goes awake. Okay, here's what we're gonna do just to get rid of this fish. We're gonna rip that minnow a little bit shorter. Oh, he's coming in fast. On the dinner bell? No, for the, the minnow. <laughs> Look at him, he's coming for the camera. <laughs> Coming back. He's coming back with a vengeance. Yep. He's got him. Oh, nope. the drag so loose. Lift, oh, lift, no. lift. No. Tighten the drag, tighten the drag. No. He ate. We lost him. Maybe he'll leave us. We can put a real minnow on. Move on with our lives. Well, I would call it almost a codfish. We're gonna we're gonna say we got one for the dinner bell. One for the minnow. Right wake up! Is that a fish? Is a fish? Is that a perch? Or a little trout? A little trout. Oh, he almost ate you there. Yeah. Oh, oh wow! Whoa! You got him? Nope. Oh. oh, I'm convinced. He I ate thought it. he ate it too. Oh, now he's gonna eat your minnow. He's just like going through all of them. I think you just ate it. Yeah. Before he spits it. Go, 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 go. You got him. You got him. Let's go. Yes. Nice. All right, I'll pull the camera down. Show me that beast. Little micro. Nice, nice little specimen. He filled the frame. Perfect. Nice. We're probably gonna give it another half hour here if we don't see a better size fish. I think we're gonna move. I mean, we've caught two. We've had so much action, but I'd like to see a bigger fish. Last time I was here and, and had a failed attempt at making a video, I did see one of the biggest brookies I've seen this year. So that's the plan. We'll stick it a little bit longer and then we'll move for the second half of the day. We got an early start today, so we can still make a move, but I mean, the next fish that swims through here could be 20 inch brookie. So we'll just stay focused. It is one o'clock. All right, guys, we caught two fish here. Um, a lot of activity, but just tiny, tiny fish micro splake brookies whatever they were we're gonna make a move we got you know a solid probably two and a half three hours yet so it's probably worth one more move it doesn't take that long to set up in a situation like this i don't want to make a small move i want to make a pretty big move to a different part of the lake just because we're just hoping these fish are kind of cruising by so let the packing begin All right, we're set up at location number two. It's a little bit of a flat that sticks out a little ways. It's not as flat as the last spot, um, which makes it a little bit tougher to get all four lures perfectly in the shot. So as you can see, Brandon being in the shallowest hole has a smaller zone to jig. And um, that live minnow in the, in the far hole, we had to have a little further off the bottom. But we got four options. Ice fishing roulette. Look at the fish. Look at the fish. Oh. There's, two, oh, perch. there's two. There's Are two. Are they perch? Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh. It's a school of perch. Oh, he's nip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, wow. Oh, you got him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you got him. Random Byler, everybody. Micro fish. If you're wanting to do underwater filming, like, I don't know. There's other lakes I think we could have gone to and had a better chance at a bigger fish, but the clear water is just so key for doing this sort of stuff. It's when you go down 25, 30 feet, now that I've done more scuba diving, it gets dark down there. And I know it's easy to say, oh, the camera just gets so grainy. Yeah, it gets so grainy because there is no light down there. Oh, oh, oh come on. Oh, oh, come on. Come on, give me another chance. He's coming back. Oh, oh wow. wow. That was so sweet. Aggressive. Oh, that was sweet. It's tiny, but that was, oh man. Wow, that was cool. Underwater just makes any fish that much more exciting. I think this is another little splake. This guy just wanted 
to get hooked. Look how cute he is. Look at my little trout. <laughs> All right, he's going back. Guys, that fish just kept going at it until he got hooked. Man, he was aggressive. That's two for the dinner bell. I think the dinner bell might be winning. Look at my massive splake. Today, I am using the 39 medium light. This is called the Drench. Awesome, awesome rod for stock trout. Brandon's using the dipstick, which is a 39 light, which is a very similar type of rod, like a very soft noodle tip type rod. Mine, a little more backbone, obviously it's just a little bit heavier overall, but both are great. Walleye, stock trout rods, eight pound braid, eight pound fluorocarbon leader on both. And then we got the two jaw jackers. We have one dipstick and one royal flush. No, one royal flush, maybe two royal flushes. 36 lights. Kill somebody. Oh, 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 there's two of them. Got, got one of them. The other one's always falling the other one up. What you got? <laughs> Where'd that other fish go? I'm gonna catch that other one. <laughs> that happened fast. That was sweet. Be free. Have you caught a splake before? No. First splake. <laughs> First splake. <laughs> there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Holy. Whoa. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> what? Look, he's finishing oh. the rest of it. No. Oh, got him. Come <laughs> on. That was insane. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. No way. My goodness. Look at that nice little guy that Brandon caught. All right, going back. All right, that was super cool. Uh, hit Brandon, hit the jaw jacker, hit Brandon again. Prime time is upon us. I, I don't know if that was a brookie or a splake. It was, was kind of tough to tell. I probably would have said brookie on that one, but uh, pretty, pretty small. But hey, last time I was here, I saw one fish and it was big. So I'm feeling hopeful. I'm gonna put a little more trout dough on and see what we can do. Oh, perch. Oh. <laughs> Just lost them. He's coming back. Oh, look at all them. They're so aggressive. Come on, eat it. I'm gonna tantalize him up. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, he's missing it. He's going too high. Oh. <laughs> that is why I wanted to do stuff like this. This video is just because it's so cool to see what the fish chooses. Because I mean, this is all within, you know, 10 feet of each other. The fish can choose anything and Sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. This is pretty cool doing this through the ice. I wanna do walleye, I wanna do lake trout. Crappies would be a little tougher. Burbot, I'm sure you could do. It's all about water clarity and depth, really. Thought this would be a good start though. Might still get a big one yet, we're gonna stick it out. It is 3.45, sunset is around 4.30, so we are nearing the end. Oh, 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 oh. God, oh no, oh, no. oh. he's gonna eat again. Oh, I lost him. That's a bigger fish. There's Come no on, fish. eat again. Eat again. Oh my goodness. Oh my. What, what? Oh, he just keeps hitting it. I'm going to catch him. I'm going to catch him. That's a bigger fish. Now he's coming for you. Come on. Oh no. Oh no. That was the biggest fish. Oh, I'd like three. Ch oh, he's still oh, he's back. back. Get ready, get ready. Move it less. Move it less. He's coming back for yours. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Oh! Oh, come on! Can I get the minnow? Oh, no. Oh, that's insane. That fish just is so aggressive. Oh. Oh, oh come on. How is this fish still interested? Oh. Oh, you missed it. Come on. I missed him like six times. Okay, yes, yeah, so you're getting him on the middle. Yeah. You're get Oh, did he eat it? Oh no, look at that. Oh. oh yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he's on it. I think he's on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Nope. Oh, nope. he just took the minnow. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, he's coming for me still. Oh, what is going on? Oh man. Is he gonna eat the trout dough? Oh. <laughs> Is he gonna eat the trout dough? Eat it, eat it. Yeah, he got it, yes. he got it, he got it, yes. got, got it. He's gonna set it. Yeah, go, go, go. Go, go. Yeah. No. Oh my goodness. He, he ate it. Like, how are we so bad at fishing? <laughs> He's still interested in things down there. 
Well, let's okay, put I'm a little drop this back. Grab the troto. Yeah, yeah, just hold it there. He might eat that. Oh, now he's gonna eat your other one. No. No. He's eating troto. He's eating a minnow. I can't believe the troto didn't hook him. I can't believe either. Go for that troto. Oh, he sees the troto. Oh, he sees Come the on. troto. Come on. Did he just eat it? He ate it, he ate it, bend it. Yeah, 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 go! Let's yes! Go! Come on! Come on! Take your time. No! Oh, oh man, that was no. it! No! Oh, you can see him sinking back down. Okay, well, he's still oh, there. Oh, no. We're, maybe we still have a chance. Look at this, and he's looking at my jig now. He's still there. I think he's coming towards the Troto right now. I can't believe he's still around us. Yeah, that. this is ridiculous. We've hooked him like seven or eight times. I think I'm just gonna take that out of the rod and drop a minnow down this hole. Oh, 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 oh. What? What? Oh, 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 he's gonna eat the oh. middle. Got him. Yes. Got him. Yes. You're getting in here, bud. Come on. I don't think Come it's on. as big as we thought, but this is the fish. <laughs> Come on. The trout doe fish. The trout doe fish. Get under him. Yeah. We got him. Holy smokes. I've never worked so hard for fish in my life. <laughs> there is our splake. We spent so much time on that fish. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. The underwater footage was insane. I'm gonna put this guy back because he's had a tough time. Whew. Brandon, oh. we did it. We had him hooked like four or five times and he probably bit like 12 or 15. Incredible. That wasn't big, but compared to what we were catching, that was like two or three times the size. So quad cam, ice fishing roulette. This will not be the last time. Some of that footage was absolutely bonkers. Uh, it pays to stay out till the end of the day because that's that's when fish oh, bite. Oh, there's another one down there. Come there's on, down there. come on. All right, we might be done, we might not. Oh, oh. it's a little perch. Oh, geez. Okay, Sweet. we're done. We did it. Fun day. Northwest Ontario, that's all, folks.